Welcome to our Quick Tips. This is Mike Clay with Clay Digital Consulting, and today we're going to go over a few things you can do to get results on your own. What we're going to cover today is we're going to go over two results, two quick result methods to get business leads rapidly. The first thing we're going to go over today is going to be video marketing, and then we're going to go over content marketing and a couple of different techniques you can use to get those results. The next thing we're going to do is, because sometimes you do need help outside of doing things on your own, we're going to go over the things you should be asking in any SEO firm before you give them any money. First, video marketing. Video marketing is huge right now. Matter of fact, you found this video because of effective video marketing. Number one, Google loves YouTube. Why? They own it. Not only do they own it, it ranks very well and it can rank very quickly. What you need to understand about video marketing is it doesn't have to be complicated. You can put a, together a very quick video, stay very basic, and get it live quickly. This video that you're watching now is only going to be about 10 minutes worth of work to get it live after we build our presentation. Um, also, once you've launched a video on YouTube, they're easy to optimize and they're really simple to produce. So in building your video, because they are easy to produce, the problem is it becomes so overwhelming for so many businesses for one reason. It seems to be way too complicated. You're thinking, what? How, how, where do I begin? How do I do this? Well, you got to keep it simple. Keep it as simple as possible. You can do things like use Jing, which you can just Google Jing and you'll find it. Jing allows you to do five-minute videos and you can do a quick video. Or you can use software like Camtasia and do a little bit more detailed. It get, lets you do editing, post-editing, but that's going to take more time and that's a little more complicated. Or you can do exactly like we're doing it here, where we've built a presentation file and we're using Google Hangouts Live and are auto-publishing it directly to YouTube. As soon as I stop the broadcast here, this video is going to go live on YouTube. Now, that's how we suggest you do it. Why? Because it's simple. The advantage of using Google Hangouts is, one, you can actually talk with other people, like get a handful of people together and do an interview roundtable type thing, which we're planning on doing in the future. You can do presentations like we're doing now, where we have a PowerPoint and you can screen share and show a presentation. Or you can show your desktop to where down the road, as we're doing some of these SEO tips, we're going to actually be logged into a website and walk you through how to do things as as we're moving along. So keep it simple, keep it going. The only thing you really have to have to be effective with video marketing is you have to have a good internet connection, you have to have a Google account so that you can get into Hangouts and YouTube, and I, I would highly suggest a good microphone or a good microphone headset combo. What I use for my system is I have a Logitech Gamers headset, which is an over-the-ears headset with a really nice microphone, and it's the Logitech G330 headset. You can find it on Amazon, and it's a great product. The next thing you can do is content marketing. Look, when it comes to content, it's about good quality content. Uh, you, you might have heard about software spinning and content spinning. Well, that's just junk. It's spam. It's not good quality content. And if you're going to do content marketing, you need to use WordPress. Why? Because WordPress is designed specifically for this. Uh, I've, I've, in the last couple of months, I've run into a couple of different companies that offer services other than WordPress. And I've even heard people say, well, you know, this platform is good for this situation. No. I, I, I'm, you know, as the marketing guy, as the guy who, who puts things on the front page of Google, let me tell you, 
I know a bunch of SEO guys that are really great at what they do. I know a lot of marketing guys that are really great at what they do. And the ones that get results, the ones that knock it out of the park every time, they'll tell you, use WordPress. It, it is the largest used content management system out there. It is the most effective system out there to get rankings in Google. Um, you'll hear people talk about Drupal and all these other things. And then there's other companies that say, well, we have a proprietary content management system. If anybody uses the word proprietary in trying to sell you SEO or a website, shake their hand, say thank you, walk out the door. Because what proprietary means is you don't own it. It's not yours. And you're a business owner. You need to be about owning your own products. Anyway. That's getting ahead of ourselves. The other part about content marketing is be consistent. If When you start publishing content, you need to consistently publish content. This doesn't mean you need to blog every day. What this does mean is you don't want to blog 10 blog posts today and then nothing for three months. If you're going to write 10 blog posts today, WordPress has this great feature where you can schedule them to where you can schedule a blog post every three days. And then if you wrote 10, that's a couple of weeks worth of work. And then sometime in the future, you write 10 more and you schedule them to where they're consistently going out, to where there's new content on a regular basis going into your website. That's what content marketing is about. It's about new, fresh, relevant content going into your website on, on a timely manner and consistently and not sporadic. Three blog posts a day, nothing for a week. Six blog posts, nothing for a week. That's bad. You want, if you're only going to write three articles a week, then you want those three articles to be spread out over the week. Also, stay relevant. If you're a plumber in Lawrenceville, when we're doing SEO in Lawrenceville, we're going to talk about plumbing for that plumber. We're not going to talk about um, roof damage. We're not going to talk about other non-related things. Now, sometimes talking about home repair is related, but make sure it's related. Make it relevant. And get a schedule. Google likes consistency and likes you to continually putting stuff out there. Uh, there's a plugin for WordPress called WP Content Calendar, and you can Google that or search inside. Once you're inside WordPress, go to Add a New Plugin and search for a plugin. Search for Content Calendar, and what that's going to do is it's, it'll give you a calendar to where you can schedule your posts and have an overview look of a calendar, so that you can make sure you're posting the right stuff or consistently. You know what? Sometimes you just need a pro. Sometimes this stuff becomes so overwhelming, and sometimes you're just busy running your business. Isn't that great? Sometimes you have enough business to where you need someone else to do it for you, and you're not having to do it yourself. Well, there are things you need to, to be able to do when you need a pro. One, sometimes you're going to need help to properly configure your WordPress website. That means make sure your permalinks are set up. Make sure there's a ping list. Make sure the blog is set up to, the, to where everything is working the way it's supposed to. Sometimes you need help getting your YouTube channel connected and making sure your Google Hangout and your YouTube channel and your Google Plus account and your WordPress website and make sure everything's just meshing properly. Sometimes that can get complicated. Sometimes... A lot of business owners have never done this before, so it's just it's not over their head. Uh, you know, if you're running your own business, chances are you're an intelligent person and you could figure this out. But why do you want to waste your time doing that? So sometimes you need to hire someone just to save your time to where you can be about being the expert and not having to be the geek. You know, that's my job. I'm the geek. So if you don't, you know, really want to hire somebody, feel free to call me. <laughs> um, linking it all together, 
you know, just making sure everything works smoothly and runs right. And the other thing you can do is you can ask a pro, hey, can you just coach me and make sure I'm, I'm moving in the right direction? Can, can you just do an audit for this and, and just make sure I'm moving the way I need to go? Um, most SEO companies will do a free initial audit to kind of give you an overview of where you're at and what you need to be doing. And, and those can come in very handy. But what you need to ask these companies prior to hiring anyone, okay? This is what you need to know about the pro. Uh, do you do your own SEO? I, I know multiple companies that do not do their own SEO. They outsource their SEO. Now, these are companies that claim to be an SEO firm. They say that you know, we're, we're SEO experts. and what happens is they convince you to start paying them a monthly fee and then they hire someone in India to do the work. You don't want that. If they're going to outsource SEO, you want to make sure they at least know what they're doing and not trusting a co company in another country. This is what happened to JCPenney's. A couple of years ago, JCPenney's got de-indexed from Google and lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. You can go Google JCPenney blacklisted and find the news reports from CNN and everyone else about Google just kicking JCPenney out of the search results. Why? Because they hired an SEO company that were that was paying someone else and that in person was doing things to get results that were against the search engine's terms. So you know, you want to know who's doing the work because if this stuff gets messed up, it hurts your business. It doesn't hurt the SEO firm. You've already paid them. It hurts you. So ask these questions. Um, can you show me an example? Don't get them just to show you an example of their website. Ask to see, can you show me a client that you've done work for? And if they can show you an example and kind of explain the process, and here's the thing, if it's a good SEO guy, he's going to explain the process, and they're just like me, I get so excited about this stuff, I'll start explaining it, and before I realize what I'm doing, I'm talking about industry-specific things, and most people don't understand what in the world I'm talking about. That's okay. If they're explaining SEO to you and showing you results, ask them to break it down a little bit more. Get them to explain it. Look, there are no proprietary SEO strategies. There are no secrets in SEO. Um, how I build my own personal network to do you know, my exact process, do we guard that? Yeah, we guard that, but the process is the same for everyone. Some of the things I use in the process might be different. But overall, there are no hidden secrets. This is not rocket science. Also, make sure they're current with Google updates. Um, there's a guy you need to Google. Look up Matt Cutts. Matt Cutts is in charge of the web spam team over at Google. Uh, it's Matt, M-A-T-T-C-U-T-T-S dot com, I believe is his website. And you can go to his website and skim through his blog and see what some of the other things are there. You can also go to the Google Webmaster Tools YouTube channel and skim through some of the topics. Ask them, are you current with Google's updates? If they don't know what Hummingbird is, which was a massive update, um, you know, September, October of 2013, if they've never heard of Hummingbird, they're not current. If they don't understand that Hummingbird was a foundational change in how Google is doing search, they're not current. So you, you want to ask questions about are they current. And I'm going to have a, a list of questions on my website that you should ask SEO consultants because it'll tell you the difference between someone that knows a little bit of SEO, someone that knows absolutely no SEO, and then that elite guru that you know, is is so good that even I 
can't afford them, and you can't, you know, none of us can afford those guys. Um, but it'll help you understand that because we're gonna we're gonna put a questions to ask your SEO expert up there. And I took this test myself, and I actually got two of them wrong and had to go look them up. So it it was it was kind of fun for me to to challenge myself with that test. We're gonna get that live on our website soon. Also, ask them what they provide for content marketing. If you hear the term, we use spun content, or we post to article directories, or we use blog commenting, understand, everything, one of those things are considered spam, which means it's going to get you in trouble eventually. It might get you quick results today, but long term, it's going to hurt your business. When they talk about content marketing, they should talk about consistency, building a content strategy and making sure that the content going out is being syndicated and shared properly. All right. Hey, once again, this is Mike and this is one of our quick tips for the day. We hope you have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon.